Today we're going to be working on area between curves using TI-84 because sometimes you will encounter functions that's difficult to integrate and to be able to answer problem or calculus problem we need to use um, a calculator or graphing calculator to solve for the area just like problem number one and number two so we have problem number one let's compute for the area between the first function the second function y which is 1 minus cosine x and the y-axis so first let's graph the function using the graphing calculator so y sub 1 let's define y sub 1 in our calculator as e to the negative cosine e to the negative x squared so e to the negative x squared and y sub 2 is 1 minus cosine x. So 1 minus cosine x. So that's our y sub 1 and y sub 2. Now if we graph this, we'll see that our graph is uh, slightly small. So we're going to zoom it in so we can f see our graph better. So using the zoom function so push trace first and direct your graph to uh, the point of intersection zoom to and we'll see the graph better so by doing this we'll be able to visualize what we're supposed to be solving and in this case So we have the blue graph which is represented by push trace y sub 1. So this is y sub 1, the blue graph, and the red graph is y sub 2 which is 1 minus cosine x. So this is the graph of y sub 2. So since we are finding the area between the function and the y-axis, this is the region that we are approximating. So using the vertical method or the top minus bottom method, we'll be able to find the integral from 0 up until this value of x. And to find the point of intersection, we'll use the calculator second function trace for calc go to intersect which is 5 and it will ask you to um, use the first curve and the second curve which is the red curve to approximate the point of intersection and this is giving us 0 0.942 so now that we have all the things that we need we can start writing out the integral um, function so find the area it's top minus bottom and since we are using the limit from 0 um, along the x-axis we'll use dx so the area by substitution will have the integral from 0 to 9 or 0.942 of the top function and the top function here is y sub 1 minus the bottom function which is y sub 2 dx so using our calculator second quit math 9 from 0 to 0.942 will subtract y1 top function is y sub 1 minus bottom function which is y sub 2 bars y bars 2 dx and it's giving us 0 0.5909 or we can round it up to 0 0.591 
So this is the area between the curve using the calculator. Now let's go ahead and answer problem number two. So we can start fresh. We have the function, two functions, and bounded by the y-axis, we need to find the area of the region R. So y sub 1, y equals, let's define y sub 1 as x cubed all over 1 plus x squared. So x cubed divided by 1 plus x squared. And y sub 2 is 4 minus 2x. 4 minus 2x. So the blue graph is the first graph. The red graph will be the second graph. So if we graph it, that will be our first function. And the second function is going downwards. So the first function is our blue graph. And this is our red graph. So let's zoom in. in trace and then zoom to so we can see how the function look like so this is our function bounded by the y-axis so the red graph is y sub 2 and then the blue graph is y sub 1. So in this case, we're going to find the region bounded by the two functions and the y-axis. So we're also using the top minus bottom function method to find the area from 0 up until this value of x. So second function, trace, go to 5. So push enter three times and it will give you the intersection at 1.4876 4, 8, 8. so this is now our graph with the upper and the lower limit so to write our integral function which is from zero from a through b of your top function minus bottom function and it's dx because it's vertical and translating it to our equation we'll integrate it from 0 to 1.488 of top function and the top function is y sub 2 minus the bottom function which is y sub 1 so using our calculator second quick we'll be able to compute for the function math 9 from 0 up until 1.488 of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 dx and it's giving us 3.2145 let's round it up to the nearest thousands 215 3.2145 and this is how we use our TI-84 in computing for the area between curves.